Hello, welcome to part 3 of the UGX Mod Standalone installation for developers. In this segment I will show you how to configure UGX Mod Standalone for your specific map. Before watching this video, ensure that you have completed both of the previous videos. UGX, has many, UGX Mod has many settings which are e easily configurable from a settings file. However, before we get into that, there is some basic configuration which needs to be completed. Open your root folder and then navigate to raw UI main dot menu. Open it with your favorite text editor. I prefer to use Notepad++, which is what I will be using throughout this video series. <clears throat> At the top of the file, you will see three configurable user settings for your map. When you're editing these settings, do not edit the define line, do not edit the variable name for any of these. You only edit what is in what is below the define, which would be this, th this, and this number. The first setting um lost my place. Oh, here we go. The first setting to edit is UGX user map name. This should be set to the same name you named the map name folder in part 2 of the series. It is also the name you would use to boot the map from the in-game console. If your mod folder name is different from the name that you use to boot the map, which is unlikely but still works fine, use the name of the map, not the name of the folder. For this example, I will need to use UGX underscore mod underscore install. The second setting is UGX user map name string. This should be set to the official name of your map. For this example, I will be using UGX mod test installation, although you can put anything you want in these quotes. The last menu setting you need to edit is UGX underscore enable underscore console. Setting this to 1 will enable the use of the in-game console. Setting it to 0 will effectively disable the in-game console. This should be set to 1 while developing your map. Once map develop development is finished, I would suggest setting this back to 0 before release. Otherwise, cheating will be very easy on your map, which will make player ranks less valuable and meaningful. While we are still on the subject of menu editing, let's edit the main menu and load screen templates. I will be using Adobe Photoshop CS5 for this video, but any editor capable of opening PNG files will do. I suggest using Photoshop so that you can fully utilize the provided templates. Navigate to your root folder, texture assets, UGX mod, and then find UGX underscore mod underscore menu template dot PSD. If you are not using Photoshop, open non dash Photoshop underscore main underscore menu dot PNG. The PNG will allow you to add a background to the text. I will not cover this in the video. Instead, I will show Photoshop editing since I would hope that that is what most people choose to do. Before I begin editing the template, I would like to draw your attention to the UGX Mods logo and the, exist the existing UGX Mods text. Please do not remove, resize, or otherwise edit the UGX Mods logo or web address that is already placed in the template. We spent hundreds if not thousands of hours developing UGX Mod and we are providing it for the community to use for free. All we ask in return is that you leave, leave our credit in the menu templates as well as make it clear that your map is running UGX Mod when you release it. I also do not suggest editing the size or font of the existing main menu text, although you are welcome to. It has been specifically positioned and sized to match the menu buttons hard-coded in main.menu. Now with that said, let's start editing the image. So the first thing that you will want to do is install the font Big Noodle Tilting if you haven't already, um, which was included with the download in the zip file. I'm not going to go over to download fonts. Once you have it installed, you can edit these fonts. So I'm going to go ahead and put my map name. Feel free to just delete this text and replace it with a map logo or whatever you want. And you can edit the created by with your name or your team name. I'm going to leave it alone. <clears throat> 
and then um, the main menu text can also be edited. You can change its color by uh, highlighting or by right clicking the text layer, going to blending options, and doing a uh, color overlay. You can also just change the font color by highlighting the text and going up here and choosing a font color. Um, you can choose any color you want. You can change the color of these horizontal um, divider bars by right clicking the menu borderline layer, going to blending options, and using color overlay. You can set it to any color. Um, and you can finally you can edit the background image by just putting your own image in the background of the um, of the file right here and hiding or deleting the example background image. <clears throat> Once you're done editing the template to your liking, f go to File, Save As, and choose JPG Image. File, Save As, JPG, right there. <clears throat> um, make sure to overwrite the existing JPG menu template. So let's find that here. UGX mod load screen, UGX mod menu template. So click that, click save. Do you want to replace? Yes. Choose the highest quality setting. <clears throat> now that you've saved the JPG, G, JPG file, go ahead and open it. You can open it in any image editor. You're just going to resize it. Uh, so it's right here. You will need to resize the JP image to 2048 by 2000 by f by 2048. Stretching will occur. So go to image, image size, uncheck constrained proportions if it's checked, and put 2048 and 2048 and click OK. And it will become a square stretched image like so. Then go ahead and do File, Save. Close the JPG and close the template. Now, um, now that you've resized the JPG, oh, sorry, I already did that. Um, now open UGX mod low screen template.psd or its PNG equivalent. You may change the background in this file or whatever you would like to do. Once again, please leave the existing logos and text alone. Once you are finished editing, save it the same way you saved the first template by overriding the load screen JPG. Now we are finished editing the main menu. Before the changes to the menu images take effect, we need to convert the JPG files into a format that COD5 will read. Open Launcher and click the Asset Manager button. <clears throat> In Asset Manager, click File, Open, then Navigate to Root, Texture Assets, and open UGX Mod User Assets G, uh, GDT. This will populate the asset list in Asset Manager with two entries, UGX Main Menu User and UGX Load Screen User. If you overwrite the existing JPGs correctly in the previous steps, then all you need to do here is press F10. It will convert the load screen for you. So I'm going to select UGX load screen user and press F10. Okay, pressing F10 stopped my recording. I didn't see that coming. So I, I'm going to go ahead and do it manually by going to PC convert and then clicking current asset only. And you'll see that that finished. And then we can click uh, enter to close that window. Now click UGX Main Menu User and go to PC Convert Current Asset Only. It will take a while because it's a pretty detailed image. Once the conversion is finished, press Enter to close the CMD window. Now you may close Asset Manager. Our main menu JPGs have now been converted to a format for COD5, but there is still one more step. Navigate to Root Raw Images. Sort by date modified, 
which I've already done by clicking right there. If you don't see date modified, click this little view button and choose detail list, and then choose date modified. Select the two most recently modified files, which are UGX mod menu template.iwi and UGX mod load screen template.iwi, and copy them to your clipboard. Navigate to root mods map name. In this, in my case, it's UGX mod install, and then the images folder, and paste the images. Click do this for the next one conflict and choose copy and replace to replace the original menu images. Finally, to finish the main menu editing, we must recompile UGX mod and your maps IWD. In order to do this, first we will open Launcher and go to the Mod Builder tab. From there, select your map from the drop down list, which in my case is UGX mod install. Ensure that only build IWD is checked, and on the right side box, verify that the new images folder is selected. Right there. See, I just checked the image folder and it checked both of the images. Um, if you used UGX um, script placer to generate your map, you're going to go ahead and want to uncheck this box for loadout.gsc because UGX mod comes with a custom one. Once you've done these things, press build mod and wait for the process to finish. Now select UGX mod from the drop down list. Ensure that only build mod.ff is checked. Now press build mod. Wait for the process to finish. And now you're ready for part four of the series.